and welcome you all to my wonderful channel this morning and thank you all so much for joining us on today's news the headlines senator adam Soshimole said that pdp's losses are apc's gain ahead of the edo state gubernatorial election but guys before i bring the matter like welcome on especially to my wonderful channel reality letters gs your home of news and politics thank you so much for joining us on today's news if today is your first time of watching kindly subscribe like comment share but don't forget to turn the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop our video because i'm sure you don't want to miss out the trend latest news happening on social media to all our amazing subscribers thank you so much for joining us to all our viewers out there Thank you all so much for joining us. So guys, let's proceed. Honestly, my wonderful people, the way we are seeing Edo State election, the Edo State APC seems confident of winning the governorship election in the state. I mean the court ruling against Asui Hodalo. The Edo State chapter of the All Progressive Congress has expressed absolute confidence in their chances of winning the 2024 governorship election in the state, attributing it to the seeming disarray among the ranks of the ruling People Democratic Party in the state. Now, the way APC is looking at this matter, hey, <laughs> they are saying that beside the crisis rocking the PDP and their candidate, Aswe Hodalo, that Aswe Hodalo has been detached from the people of the state. So that is a factor that have given APC their own candidate, Senator Mondo Bobolo, whom they describe as a grassroots politician, the upper hand at the pool. <laughs> so speaking to the newsmen about this issue at the State House Abuja, the leader of the APC in Edo State, Senator Adam Soshomole, and the Minister of Niger Data Development, Abubakar Mumo, cited various reasons why the November 2024 election in the state is up for their party to grab. Adam Sosumolo, who was the first to speak, said that the party was at the villa to see President Bola Metinobo with candidate of the APC and his running mate, Hidao Sardinis, to give an update of the party campaign activity. So he denied his notion that the crisis that emanated from the invalidation of the PDP governorship primary was orchestrated by the APC, pointing out that it was an internal crisis of the ruling party, which had nothing to do with the APC. Reacting to the allegation, the PDP primary election crisis was orchestrated by the APC. Adam Sosumole said that he thought that they should dismiss that because this is PDP versus PDP. And they all know that by the law, another party cannot go into intra-party conflict in court. So if it is convenient for them to explain that, they can dismiss it without asking him. So the fact that there had been division in a do before their primary and after their primaries is an open secret and the issue in this would are also very open. Now the PDP legacy group complained that the man they gave the master bedroom has completely chased them out of the building. <laughs> and now they are under the rain and as they speak that they are still trying to settle. So those who couldn't find accommodation that they pick them one by one. And don't forget that those in that Osadebe Avenue were his own. <laughs> that it was his own creation in the sense that he supported Obaseki to become governor. And so he have people who still have affection for him. Edo people won't forget in a hurry what he did when he was the governor of Edo State. And those of them who didn't quit really appreciate now. And they are comparing the past with the present. So if they have dispute or disagreements which they couldn't settle and they choose to settle it in court and the court nullified the process, that means it was the court that read the judgment. It wasn't him. So how can anybody say they are the one that engineered the PDP crisis? That is not possible. He talked about Danobi. He said if they all know Danobi, he was the leader of legacy group and he was his fierce critic when he was in government. But what power do he have? So he asks, how can the non-state group have power to influence a seasoned politician to move against themselves? How? So this is purely PDP intra-party. And he think the lesson is very clear. Namely, the party must be encouraged to obey the laws that regulate the conduct of primaries. And that rules are meant to be obeyed if they formulate their constitution. So it is based on the contract between party members. Now, the Electoral Act is meant to ensure that everybody played the game within and they all know that within the rules, they have nothing to do with it. So on why the visit and how the party stand for the upcoming election, Mr. Adam Sosunlo said that he went with a candidate and the running mate of the APC in Edo State to give President Bola Metinobo an update on how the campaign is going. 
on what they are doing and the fact that they are harvesting more and more people every day. So I told them so similarly said that a lot of people have been decamping from one party to another and they have welcomed them into their own party, APC. So he's not surprised that rather than speculating about who we face what, <laughs> that they are not a witness to the fact that the entire PDP in Ego, a month ago, all the world they come to APC. Just last week in his local government, the remaining remnant of PDP they come to APC. And across Edo Central, the same thing happened. Adam Sosumule they ask, where be say they don't hear say APC member, one APC member don't they camp? Where? <laughs> That's where have the APC member they come to as well. So people are jumping out because the umbrella is leaking and this is raining season. So they have no choice than to use broom and sweep them in inside their own party. Hey, <laughs> by people to be small wala. So the part of the Minister of Nigeria Data Development, Momodo Abuaka, he spoke on the field advantage of the APC over the PDP and Labour Party candidates. Hey, will be that better. He said that his party candidate already had a donor and central senatorial district locked down, adding that the South senatorial district would be the only battleground where the three parties will share votes. So according to him, he said, well, that's not correct. That the reason being that they have been in the politics of the states long before now. The first, let nobody make mistake by using the election of 2024 to judge what is going to happen as far as the vote of Oredo and other local governments in Benin City will be. First, to answer their question that yes, Edo not is a no-go era because his leader himself and a host of others, including Dan Obi today, who is coming from the legacy group. <laughs> are from Edo North. So anything any day maximum they can deliver a donut. Edo Central, there is no doubt that their candidate, Senator Mondo Bobolo, will sweep Edo Central because he's a homeboy. And he's a senator, elected as a senator for the very first time since 1999. So this is the very first person who has won one of the elections outside the PDP circle. So such person, they should know that. He has been loved by the people. So anytime, any day, they will vote for him because he speaks to them in their dialect. But the other man can do that. That is as well. Hold on. Who must say that? Mondo Bobolo will tell them that he cannot be a stranger in government house in Osada Bay Avenue. So it's better for the people to vote for the person. They can always say Hara and the person will respond. Then on the issue of Edo South, that they have been doing election, but the margin of water will be small. And if they want to go into reanalysis today, that the deputy of APC is from Edo South, who already has two local governments, a member of House of Representatives, that is Dennis Idahosa. So he's a member of the House of Representatives, two terms. So any day, any time, he will always win the two local governments. And he has fought and defeated very powerful people in that local government. So now are they going to say that? Since he's a running mate that he cannot deliver those local governments. <laughs> so they said they are ready. All the things they have to win that local government is in their pocket. So Muma Mubaka, they said, may they go into analysis again. That if they talk about a wrong local government, that is where they have Dr. Pius Odubo. They said he was a deputy to their leader, Adam Sosumule. And that is where they have Pastor Ezi Yamu. So they have a host number of positions who of course anytime any day they will deliver that local government they said the only area that is going to be a battlefield for the three political parties is where as we heard that hear from but they should not forget that the labor candidate is from that area too so it is not entirely for the pdp so why the labor man will be dragging to get some votes in oredo and Iboboka? the apc will also be dragged some votes there because they have a running mate and also pdp so that place is going to be a battlefield and by the grace of god apc is still going to win and if they don't win that those three local governments with what they have gotten in Edo Edo central and what they are going to get in local government they are going to win so the people should not make that mistake so right now as far as they are concerned whether court judgment or no court judgment they are very hopeful and optimistic that hey <laughs> This Edo State Governorship election this year, by November 21st this year, that Obaseki will be preparing to leave the government house.
for Mondo Bobolo. Oh, my people will be so bad. So, guys, at this point, I would like to know what you think about this issue in the comment section. I would love to hear from you once again. Thank you so much for staying to us. Really do appreciate it. On this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. Like, come your awareness. Stay safe, guys.